what's up you guys after she reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more of the boys um this is episode six let's get into it before joining the seven which hero led a search and rescue team mm. after oh my god earthquake. isn't it your job to know this kind of stuff that's a lamplighter thank you yeah i had all the trading cards of course you did Huey? Hey, where the hell have you been? After Gary's store, we all thought that... Hi, uh, Anthony, Huey's best looking friend since fourth grade. Hi, I'm Annie. It's nice to meet you. You look familiar. Did you go to Kennedy? She's, uh, new in town. Mm hmm Fantastic. So what are we drinking, new to town, Annie? So, uh, Gretchen's Garamucci. No, no. <laughs> she was <sighs> bigger than all the guys. Like, Andre the Giant big. So when Gretchen says she wants to be I can't help but notice that he's sitting right next to her. This guy like, For right making next a crack about her girlfriend. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> Huey gives her this Clint Eastwood stare, like, <clears throat> Bit, and then, like, bam, weird, runs. Weird, considering these like, guys are Forrest kind of Gump on a semi day. Five blocks down into a pet store where he hides behind his jumbo bag of kibbles and bits for four hours. Oh. I'll be right back. <gasps> <laughs> I'm surprised to run into you here, man. Yeah, same goes for you. I've been worried, asshole. I'm okay. Really, I, I just needed a fresh start. Fresh start. Your fresh start is way out of your league. I mean, you know that, right? I am How aware. dare you? <laughs> Andy's great, man. Live your life. That's what Robin will want. Welcome to my bedroom. The Baseball Hall of Fame, you might call it. Hasn't changed a bit. Oh, there they are, the Tigers. It's my little team. I played shortstop. Of course, uh, I couldn't show everything I had, but let's just say we, uh, we, we did a lot of winning. This is just... Um, Really, it's, a, uh, it's so special to come back. <laughs> uh, so I'm sorry. Of it. Why is that there? Uh, sorry? Who put the fucking blanket on the bed? Uh, Randy Setdeck. Who's Randy Setdeck? He's, he's over there. Randy, why? You fucking asshole. Uh, amateur fuck. What just happened? Shit. Samaritan's Embrace, oh, led by it. Ezekiel, but bankrolled by Vaught has been shipping Compound V to 53 hospitals across the country since 1971 and gift wrapping it, gift wrapping it as polio vaccine. Are you telling me that God's not reaching up the twats of American girls and blessing babies? Butcher, can you leave God out of this? Oh, hold on, hold on. So no hero was born? None of them. They're all just kids dosed with the blue shit. Do you think they know? What about Homelander? Homelander's a black hole. Never had any public records and never will. However, every single other suit, Juiced up lab rats. My God. I'm trying to give a tremendous fucking TED that. talk here. And this Frenchie, can you control her, please? I do not control her. Do you see what I'm dealing with? Oh, spot on, M.M. Raina's going to love it. Hi. You know? Oh, my God. No, no, no. Not if you attach to that hand, now. Huh? Holy shit, it's been a while since that it's happened. Okay. Well, you know all of this. Uh, oh my god, I don't like that. <laughs> but it's only part of the story, no? I'm usually really good with jump scares, but that one was, wow. She's not an infant, and she was injected in the basement of the hospital. Who the fuck are you gonna get to replace me? I'd like to see what bitch that is! You okay? You know that pledge? You meant her during rush week because she seems sweet and a little naive, and she doesn't know she's not supposed to wear Uggs. <laughs> and then once she's active, she stabs you in the back, gets you kicked out of the house. I'm sorry, I don't... It was my big idea to book you for the Believe Expo. What could go wrong, I thought? You were playing to your base. At least I don't have to kiss your ass anymore. Like you ever did. You're a bitch! Fuck you! Come in. Thank you for coming, Starlight. You fired Ashley? It was actually a mutual decision. She wanted to explore different career paths. Uh, I and, feel like um, it wasn't, we wished but well. okay. So... I would like you to take this in the constructive spirit that it is intended. Okay. You are a selfish, arrogant child. Okay. Wow. Back in Iowa, I bet you watched a lot of Queen Maeve's movies, right? I did. She was a rebel. Didn't take anyone's shit, didn't play by the rules. That's what you wanted to be. That's what American heroes are. But it's a myth. I should know, because I wrote it. 
The truth is, dozens of people in this company spend hundreds of hours to create the thing that is you. I never asked for that. Then why don't you burn the sparkly outfit and become a cop? You want to be a superhero. You want to be famous. But nobody's famous alone. So why don't you cut the petulant diva shit, show a little fucking gratitude, and let us do our job? Fuck you! Not a diva. No. It was uh, my older brother, Nathan, who, who pretty much raised me up. And when I was three, it's like these guys started shooting in front of my building and I outran the damn bullet. <laughs> That's kind of how I figured out. Can I, can I stop you right there for a second? What if we ixnay the gun violence? Maybe make it a click more upbeat? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, little bro, I know you're the fastest man in the world and all that, but your work ain't done. Set, go. I'm just gonna say though, the like gun violence thing right there, very powerful, a lot more powerful than what the fuck you're thinking of. Cause that kind of stuff is real. Go. Nope. When fully mature, this immense predator of the sea can reach sizes of up to 25 feet in length and over 4,000 pounds. Would you like me to change it? Uncle you talk to me? She talk to me. That's talking? Or she communicated in any way? She yeah, likes her quicker? Huh? I'll call BuzzFeed. I wonder if she lives by the water. I gotta say, she is very intriguing. You know, the other day, I, I wanted to talk to my friend about all this. Collateral but I damage. Couldn't. I think that's why this group is, is so great. It's so important. I know it's wrong to feel angry. After all, Tech Knight saved me. I just wish he'd been a, a little more gentle with my spine. It's about acceptance, isn't it? Letting go, moving on. Seth, you're up. Hey, hey everybody. Hey. Uh, so I'm kind of a writer. Uh, I work in marketing. Uh, there's this one hero who shall remain nameless, but has ice powers. Ice princess. Um, not allowed to say. Anyway, she uh, took a liking to me. It was heady, man. Uh, intoxicating. No one wants to fuck the writer. Needless to say, I fell for her big time. What kind of knobber falls for a soup? Anyway, we were, uh, you know, being intimate when she climaxed and accidentally turned into ice. Just for a second. But I was uh, still in there at negative 346 degrees. Same temperature as liquid nitrogen. As you can imagine, um... It snapped off. The crazy thing is, I still miss her. Oh, Miss Stillwell, hey. You wanted to see me, right? Yeah, I'm running late. Can you walk with me? Hey, look, I brought a little present for your little guy. Oh. Never uh, too young to start saving the world, right? <laughs> I'm gonna need you to make a public apology. And you're going to be taking a sabbatical from the seven. What? We are yeah. going to be stationing you in Sandusky, Ohio for a while. Okay, okay, look, I, I know, I know, I know my brain wasn't in the right place, but, but my heart was. And it's just that, that damn ocean, man. They wouldn't let this me. This is not about the dead dolphin. This is about Starlight. Yeah. Starlight? What are you doing? What about Starlight? Everybody seems to want to know who she was referencing in that speech, and it is not going away. It's only a matter of time before she, or let's be honest, some of the other women speak up. So we need to get ahead of it. Okay, there may have been a misunderstanding. I know that. Can't you just, you know, handle it like, like you do? This is the way we are handling it means things that she now. Knows. Yeah, let's just cut. I'm sorry. Team take two, Alpha Mark. Starlight, I hope you can forgive me. It's harder to sell. To sell it, yeah. It's a little hard. Perfect, let's do that. Speaking out, we can all become stronger. I realize that my behavior has caused Starlight a great deal of pain, and I sincerely apologize for this. <laughs> Though at the time, I believed that our encounter was consensual, I now realize that um, I misread the moment. Our new movie, Insurrection. It's really exciting. It's my first uh, movie with the uh, in the Vought cinematic oh universe. God. Oh my god, uh, what the, the hell is this movie? New York. The hearts of seven million men and women beat hell? inside this city. But there's only one person who can see inside their hearts and read their minds. This man is the rapist. There are no secrets from me. Oh my god, that's Kylie Joe Osman. Oh my god! I was forgetting his name. Titanic dude. Oh, Reed! Oh, I know these people! Billy Zane. Hey. 
What number am I thinking it's, of? That's Haley Joe Osment, right? That's what his name is? 67. Fucking amazing. This guy's fucking amazing. So, what am I thinking of? I'm thinking the same thing. Cool. <laughs> Why don't I put this down? Okay, cool. Okay. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Mr. Mesmer. Ah, uh, just, just Mesmer. No Mr. Necessary. Yeah, fan of the show? Well, nah, man. I've never seen it. You know what I'm a fan of? Your insider trading. The way you brush your hand up against that Wall Street guy, brother, that shit right there, now that was ruthless. I mean, Vought dropped you like a hot potato afterwards, which I think is some bullshit, but with the SEC Who the fuck are you? Why don't you take a peep and see? How do you know about Cleo? There are no secrets from me. Well, I work for child services. My colleague, Tina, she owes me a favor. See, she, just like I, believe in second chances. Cut the shit. I lost custody three years ago. Nobody believes in second chances for fuck-ups like me. She's waiting on you. Hey, Cleo. Remember your old man? Hi, Charles. I'm, I'm sorry that I'm gonna try and be in your life a little bit more. Would that be okay? I guess. We gotta get back. That was like three seconds. Bye. Hey, uh... What happened? I, I just... I just wanna know you don't hate me. I don't really know you. Hey, wait, um... So you can know me a little better. I don't have a DVD player. What kind of a child are you? Bye. I can see her every month. One hour, supervised. You clean? I, I can't be. Good. Who do you want me to read? My wife, Becca. Used to hum the Spice Girls. She me around fucking Ben, you know. All day long. Walking around the house humming. She was happy. I don't know why she was happy with me, but she was happy. Homelander raped her. Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. Not long after that, she came and sat right here. I know this because she got tagged in that security camera right there. She sat here for three hours, didn't move a muscle, and then she just got up and walked away. That was eight years ago, and nobody's seen her since. Either Homelander killed her, or she killed herself, same difference. How do you know what happened, sir? You see, I know what it's like to lose someone. How did you find out? You and me, we're in this together. We're Robin and Becca. That is why you can't allow yourself to be distracted by another bird, especially not a soup. That was really powerful. Like, wow. Just remember who your friends and who your enemies are. That was some really powerful acting from a man. Like, wow. I'm really sorry about the blanket. It never should have been there. And Randy set deck has already been terminated. I don't understand the blanket. But right now, we need to finish that tour and to show how down to earth and ready to serve you are. And I need you to tell the mother story. Please, please do it for me. It was actually my mom who dragged me along to my first Little League practice. And uh, pretty soon after that, I, I just loved the game more than anything else in the world. So every year, she would bake me a, a birthday cake in the shape of a baseball diamond. And uh, I gotta tell you, it was perfect. Perfect. Everything, down to the last minute details. Perfect. So great. So are we done? Uh, yes. All right. So. She can't talk or won't talk. That's what you're gonna tell us. Yeah. Oh, Jesus! Jesus. Damn, relax. Relax. No. Oh, Jesus. No! Everyone relax! Just, just go Jesus. walk it off. Walk it off! She broke my fucking wrist! She didn't even intend any harm. Gonna fool me! Get out of him! I'm going to the hospital! Not till we get what we came for, Fuck Michael. you! The session's over! Sit down! Okay, listen. I was a field medic. Don't look at her. Look at me. I can patch you up better than any of those oxy junkies in the ER, or I can break your other wrist. You decide. Now, do you have any bandages or a splint? No, I don't have a goddamn splint! Nice decor. 80s serial killer. Love it. 
Right then, let's get cracking. There's a camp in a, in a jungle. She's a soldier. There's a, a flag with a two-headed snake on it. Two-headed snake? Like... Yeah. With red rays behind it? What does that mean? It's the flag of the Shining Light Liberation Army. Frenchie? You're dating a terrorist. Okay. Okay, so it's like something that's fully emotionally attached to him. Well, he's a giant baby. It makes sense that he'd be attached to a blanket. Must be after all of this. <laughs> she can be a terrorist. And yeah, we well, just fucking keep her under control. Okay, so they smuggle in a top shelf extremist recruit and pump her up with Compound V. And then when she's good and ready, they cut her loose to ring havoc. She wouldn't. Wait, why would Vok give Compound V to terrorists? Because the only thing more dangerous than the terrorists is a soup terrorist. And the only way to fight it is with Sergeant fucking Homelander. Gotta let the cunts in the But her go. ability kind Those of... fuckers are creating super villains. And maybe there's more of them. God knows how many. She Holy shit. Okay, this is a clusterfuck. Even for us. No, listen to me, okay? Maybe that's what they want her to be. That's not who she is. That's not what she wants. And you know this because she bends your fucking ear off. She saved my life. She's not bad. She just wants to go home. She's a fucking soup. Just like the rest. How many times do I have to fucking say it? Come on, go. I know you understand me. Please. Please. Tell them who you are. Tell them what I see. Okay, she really wants to try. I killed her parents. I kidnapped her and her brother. Forced them to be soldiers. You want to find your brother, don't you? Tamina, give me go. She just wants to go back and get her brother out of there. Her name is Kamiko. I realized that my behavior caused Starlight a great deal of pain, and I sincerely apologize. Poor boy. Selfish, dead. She's speaking your truth. Listen, poor boys. I'm in full support of women. Did you read that? Going bravery. It honestly looks like the fucking Avengers building. This small town girl next door wanted to change the world. Since when did hopeful and naive become the same thing? But the world Look, had okay. other plans. I get what they're going for here, right? So like, here's the thing though. People will realize that all of this is already stuff that they've already filmed everywhere else. People will realize this is not new footage. Oh, I'm sorry, the uh, elevator was out. You you probably don't remember, but um, we met before. Oh, I, I, I would never try and read you. Let's be clear. I don't know you, and I don't want to. A-Train said that you have some information. Oh, God. Yeah, hey, Lujo, we, um, Osmond, don't do we this. We go back to the Teenage Kicks days. We, we still keep in touch. Oh, golly gee shucks. What makes you think I would give two fucks about that? Now, do you have something for me or not? He said you were looking for a um, French guy and a black guy, a skinny white guy, British guy. Where are these from? Shitty little $85 camera I put in my doorbell casing. I know there's no reward, but I was hoping you could put in a word for me at Vought. I'll take any posting. Uh, low five figures would be fine. He's gonna die. I just want to be one of the good guys again. Oh, it's my phone. Okay, guess not. Huey. I thought that was you. Oh, I apologize. I didn't mean to interrupt. No. Oh, hi, I'm Annie. Billy. Old mate of Huey's. Ah, oh, boy, you really you have a lot of friends showing up here. Yeah, seems like it. You were that new girl in the seven, didn't you? Guilty. Wow. It is a pleasure to meet you. And I must say how marvelous it is that so many more women are in positions of power. You know what I mean? Mm. You know what? I'm gonna go get us a picture. Oh. Billy, you like, let me guess, Guinness? I like what you like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Be right back. Well, well, well. Richard. She's quite tasty, up close and personal. I get what you're seeing. Huh? That wasn't what I good. thought we had an understanding. We do, we do. It's not, not what it looks like. Because from where I'm sitting, it looks like you got your tongue halfway down the opposition's front. She is not the opposition. She's a good person. 
Okay, I mean, she could help us. Help us? And what do you think she's gonna do when she finds out you murdered Translucent? When she finds out, give him a best. Where'd your friend go? Alrighty, well that was The Boys, Season 1, Episode 6. Um, pretty good episode. Um, really kind of enjoying this show, to be honest with you. Um, it's got some, like, heavy topics, but, like, it's quite real, and I, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Um, Kimiko seems to be, like, very intriguing, and I'm glad that she seems to be staying around and not leaving to go save her brother. But, like, that doesn't mean that we can't do that in the process. Um, we found out what Homelander did to piss Butcher off so much. Um, that was a really rough scene to talk about. Like, um, I really felt that there. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one.